Okay, let me get this up. All right, so um, all right, so I got a little. This is something I put together uh, earlier in the year, and it's it's something like my goal is to give you as many tools and resources for you to be able to develop your own healthy lifestyle. There's lots of ways to go about this, um, and it's like there isn't there isn't a one size fits all so what's important like with anybody creating a healthy lifestyle you have to figure out you you have to figure out what works for you you've got to understand yourself and you're the one who's in the best situation to be able to do that um so there's something that you're going to hear me say what gets measured gets managed and what i've put together here is a way to measure not only progress but kind of just put you in the place where you need to be to be prepared mentally so you can be successful. I've worked with lots of very successful entrepreneur people who, who've done very well for themselves. And I can tell you right now, like some of the things that we're talking about here are things that they've done in their lives and until it just becomes automatic again, till you create the habits. So I've got a checklist, which will, there'll be a PDF somewhere here that you'll be able to click on and download as well. Just put this on your fridge and use this as a checklist to, to get you, get every week started right. So let's kind of dive in. So it's establishing a, it's a Sunday routine. So it's a great way to prepare for a successful week. Sunday is a great day. Monday's a new, a fresh start to the week. So being prepared ahead of time is always going to, it's going to be beneficial to you to be successful. Like, um, you don't want to start Monday and be like, oh, what do I got to do? I got to get food prep. I got to, and all of a sudden you're starting in stress and chaos. And it's like where you can just put a little time aside every Sunday, prepare and just be ready to be prepared for the week. So, um, all right. So number one is you want to reflect and plan. So take some time to reflect on the success and challenges of the past week. Like use the reflection to adjust your goals and plan for the week ahead. So you want to look back. Uh, number one, and this is where it's like you really get your mindset, like learning to celebrate your win. So start with that, like as you start this process, because it's going to open you up to getting excited. So as you get into the week, you're going to be ready to go. But reflect on the successes that you've had, then the challenge is second, and then like what can you learn from it? Like what what were the big learning lessons? The successes are easy. Like when things are going well, like there's not a big amount of learning, but when the challenges happen and you overcome and you show up, that's where the learning process really starts to happen. So um, next is you want to set goals. So after you go through that process, it's like, okay, what do I want to achieve? Uh, okay, I want to, I want to release one or two pounds this week. I want to make all three workouts. I want to, I want to do my four days of walking or whatever, whatever it is on your own. I want to get a couple of days of stretching. Uh, I want to get a couple of days of prayer or meditation, whatever, whatever it is that that would suit you if that's you. So it's but um, set your goals like you you need to, like you got to like this gives you a bullseye of what to focus on. And even at the end of the week, if you didn't reach your goals, that doesn't have anything to do with you. It's, it's exactly what we went to here. You reflect, you plan, you get better, you you just work on getting a little better and there's going to be results you're getting. So, and this is an accumulation of everything that you're doing. So, uh, definitely set your goals, plan your meal. So take some time, plan your meals the week ahead. Uh, this can make like this, like meal planning, having them in separate containers. Um, I've done it for years. I've got a separate way. I've, I've evolved this to where I've got it down pat. It takes very little time. My food is like, like right now I've got food in the fridge ready to go. So when it's time to eat, like I am ready to go. Um, but, and this is a skill. So this is one thing. So it's like, if you're not that good at it yet, it's because you haven't done it enough. You'll get better as you go. Um, and as it will be a disruption to your old way of life, which is okay as you're creating the new habits. Uh, and just keep on working, getting better. And always be thinking ahead, like, how can I improve this? How can I save time? How can I make this easier? How can I pick foods that I like? So, because it's a learning process. All of this is. Um, grocery shopping. Then put your grocery shopping list. So it's like, if you do, like, say a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you pick three different recipes, write down all the recipes from that list, and then that's what you're going to choose and you're going to pick from. So... Um, and then again, and technology is getting better with these as well. Like um, if you use the app, 
and, and it's I don't have a lot of people actually using it because I, I got I feel better programs but as you are picking what you're gonna eat just like write everything down so you go to you're prepared you go to the grocery store you can knock it out um, and then meal prep uh, so you're gonna want to set some t few hours aside on preferably on Sunday and I, I did this for 10 12 years I I don't after I had kids I decided I didn't want to spend the time so I kind of came up with new ideas and better efficient ways uh, I use a, a sous vide an instapot uh, those, but there's all kinds of little tips and tricks. You can do web searches. You can ask me. You can ask your, your coaches. But um, and a lot of times, like as you're doing this type of research, you're learning new things, and that work is what change. And that those are the things that lead to change because the education is going to reinforce what you're doing, and you're going to learn things that work for you because this is all about figuring out what works for you. Um, like exercise schedule so put like if you're a person who follows your calendar put these on the calendar um, but schedule in your days like put your workouts in the app so put the workouts in the app that you're gonna do and um, yeah get it scheduled if now if you're putting them on the app and your person who has your own personal schedule put them on that schedule too you want them to be you want to make sure that they're in your mind so you focus on them, you don't forget about them. Same thing with your cardio, like put that in, put it on your, your task or things to do for that day. Um, same thing maybe on your Sundays, put it, like successful people use a calendar, they, they follow a schedule. So it's like, it is something, it's, a, it's another skill. Like the thing is, like if you're not where you want, you probably don't have the skills yet that you'll, you'll achieve through the work that you do over time. Um, rest and relaxation so you do need rest so this is an important part as well like this it's it's all not just gun ho got to be going all the time and this is this is something that i put on my six month vision because i get working um and i'm probably getting after i do this video to probably take a break too even though i got more work to do see and this is where but we got to rest we got to give ourselves the ability to recover that's a good night's sleep every night. That's always that's always recommended. Um, resting and taking some off days. So if you're absolutely tired. Actually, now that I'm doing this video, I, I usually work out six days per week and I'm pretty consistent. I just took four, four or five days off. I don't remember if I worked out last Thursday or not when I'm recording this video. Um, but with, with that being said, um, the, I'm trying to think of if I did the video, it doesn't matter. Um, I took four or five days off. I just got a workout today. I went in, I went very light. My energy is on fire today. I feel great where before I was getting really, really tired. So I needed the rest and I, I was a little sleep deprived the last couple of weeks. So um, I'm still working on things too. We all work. We just keep on working, getting a little better here, a little better there. And before you know it, like things, things just start changing and it's awesome and it's a process and you got to celebrate those little wins because all these little things are the things that add up to the big wins. Um, so hydration. So staying hydrated, making sure you are drinking the water you need, get, keeping your body at an optimal level, very important. Um, sleep, making sure getting that eight hours of sleep. I mean, that kind of falls in with the rest too. I sure I should have put, yeah, anyway. But make sure you're getting six to eight hours. I find most people, and I think based on the science, like, and there are some people that do well on six. I don't think it's many. I feel like most people are seven to eight. And I personally am eight to nine. I don't, unfortunately, end up like with my schedule, getting up at 4 a.m. and having kids, getting to bed at eight o'clock. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I get to spend time with the kids. So, um, But it's something I got to watch because the sleep is very important to... Not, it's stress. Like if you're not getting enough sleep, like... It, like you you need the rest like that's where your body recovers that's where your body changes that's where your body is going to allow your body to release more weight it's not the exercise and beating yourselves up it's the rest and recovery that's where you really change and that sleep is very important um so mindful eating so just always and i mean these are just some little bonuses i just figured toss them in so um mindful eating uh just Paying attention to what you're eating, like as you're eating, like like pay attention to the way it tastes. And it's like this can give you a new experience with food versus just eating it. Like a lot of times when we're eating sugar, like I remember reading a study a while back, like 
we only taste really that first or second bite and then we're just like it's like ah um but it's like really learn to taste the food and then learn what it feels like to be full there's a difference between being full um and stuffed and start like there's a lot of different variables like with that so um just be mindful and be present that's another way to rest and relax as well um decompress digital detox take breaks from the screen and technology for the day uh use this time to connect with loved ones like the things that are really important um walks outside engage in hobby like do things that you enjoy like just really build yourself up and get yourself feeling feeling well so um anyway just a checklist it's a great tool uh, i'm going to show you actually i'm going to have the pdf of it i'm going to pull that up here but it's it's a great tool to set yourself up so put a, put an alarm on your phone to look at the checklist print that print out the pdf of this and just put it on the fridge but just remind yourself to go in and look at it and just go through like even if you don't have time to do everything on it just read through each one and kind of just make some mental visions of, of what you got to do because that that helps get you prepared for things and like any preparation is going to set you up to be more successful so um you always just want to where focus goes energy flows okay so now this is the pdf uh, everything we just went over is on here um yep just establish routines um this is just a sunday routine you can set up morning routines you can set up evening routines um i'm currently working with a tony robbins coach now as i'm recording this video and we, we were talking about this today of just really optimizing and getting a morning routine to really set me up to i got it written down here um to to be more creative i was like i kind of think of creative but it's like trying to get myself because there's success leaves clues so as you start figuring this out and you're being successful like what are the things that make you feel good so anyway i can go in this go uh, go into the stuff for days and i'm not going to take up so time is up for this one uh if you have any questions with this let me know but yes let's get let's get some good old solid healthy routines that are going to set you up for success